All right, we are back. Some stuff has been done. First off, I've leveled up a lot of, I went through the tower again. I went through Lazard's tower multiple times to get everyone caught up. But before I did that, I wanted to make sure that I was able to like do, you know, get everyone as good as I could. And after the last recording, I found out that the manual resurrection that we got for beating the Dark Tower was actually something we shouldn't have sent up. Because I also learned that, like, you can basically keep every artifact in this game without ever sending it up to Odin. But, I mean, not everything is great, so it doesn't really matter. But, the manual of resurrection is important because what it does is it you have if you have the creation gem you could turn it into uh oh crap where did it go <laughs> I go back to my mind you could turn the manual of creation into the item that you get at the bottom of the list here where is it actually oh it's not in this chapter yet so i believe it's in the next chapter you're able to get a uh, uh, item called Orichalcon, which I think is just Orichalcum, like the mineral or whatever. So you turn it, you turn the manual of resurrection into the Orichalcon, and why and why you do that is because the Orichalcon turns with the crumb with the creation gem, turns it into the creation jewel, which means you can start making end game things. So I, after the last recording session, thank God I still had a game save to just before the boss fight in the Dark Tower. So I went back, I refought the boss, I kept the manual, and I got myself the creation jewel. So now, I can create the some of the best stuff in the game. So I made this ring, I forgot what I made it out of, but this ring increases the amount of ESP gained by 30%. Not to mention I can, I can transmute the best shit. So look at this. Uh, the broken blade, I can turn into the glare guard, which is actually pretty good. Uh, gauntlets, which reduce darkness damage, counterattacks by shooting dark light, which has a chance of petrifying enemies. And in my in my leveling up, this happened once. That's pretty awesome. I was like, why did the why did the enemy suddenly turn to stone when they attacked me? Because it counterattack petrified. It was awesome. I could also make this the crimson gem or the crimson edge. This is a this is a blade or I'm sorry, this is a lance where I'll just show you cuz I made one. This is a freaking a 3 attack 1200 attack a uh, lance. This is like end game shit. I was like holy shit and it doesn't break. There's no there's no percentage of it to break. Thank god. So now, like, there's other things. I could uh, transmute the bow, which turns into a uh, crane quin crossbow. It has a chance to break, but it's pretty strong. Um, and I could do some other stuff, like uh, Scarlet Edge. I think I did. I think I did a couple of these because I was like curious what it what it was. So like Scarlet Edge is a uh, I believe it's a sword. Yeah, it, it adds down effect to normal attacks. Um, but I did so much, like, like I got, I transmuted this to get the last trial, which for mages does something kind of really cool. Um, when you're struck down, a character lays a curse upon his foes. So if I die, if the mage dies for whatever reason, it'll curse the enemy, which is also really good. Um, but there's some other things I wanted to do too, like mithril ore. I can, oh, I can turn it into a ring of learning, another one. So boom holy relic i can turn this into an icicle sword which before did nothing so i'll just do that oh and the unicorn horn the thing that we got in bronze castle this this is one of the most important items you can get in the game because if you have the creation jewel if you can get it early like i just did it becomes the best wand for a long time the unicorn's horn 
A cornerless has been tuned into uh, a unicorn cornerless has been turned into a magician's wand that allows the wizards to perform feats of great magic. This never breaks. This is a wand that is more powerful than any other staff that I have. This ether scepter is 1600. This is 1300, but it will never break. It'll never break, and it'll always cast the, the grand magic. So, yeah. That, that, that's the end, that's end game shit right there. Um, there, I think there's more, though. Um, gem of activity? Wait, what was that? Shit, I didn't even see what that was. What was that? Gem of activity. Gem which increases chances of Firestones appearing. Oh. Oh, Firestones are the little round orbs that char increase your charge. Increases the number by three. Actually, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. I can give that to someone else. I'll, I'll worry about that later. Um, let's see what else I can transmute with this awesome new orb. Uh, apparently, you can't transmute any spells. That, that's only up to creation gem. But, I mean, there's still some good stuff I can actually make. So, let's check out that icicle sword. Icicle sword. 1,200 attack has two attacks, and it doesn't break. Damn, dude. Wow, dude. Look at that attack. That's so good, dude. Ice and death. Everyone everyone is rocking end level stuff. Like, I could equip this, which is probably the best, the best crossbow at the moment. But it breaks. And I don't... I mean, I have four of them because I can transmute. But, you know what? I'll just rock it. So now everybody has... So good shit, like so much good stuff. But everyone's caught up. It's time to move on to the next chapter. We set everybody up that we could, right? Transfer. Uh, yeah, I can't send anyone else. Okay, so let's just end the chapter. We'll see what we get. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, hold on. Wait, was I supposed to take off the ring here? Let me see. Um, I was supposed to remove the ring. Damn it. Gotta reload. Okay. Reloaded. Took off the ring. Let's go into the sacred phase. It has been a long time, Lenith. Our current situation is as follows. Yeah, what's it looking like? I'm, I mean, the ACR army is doing good. I sent two, and they lo I, I got plus four, and they lost minus two, so I'm doing good. Our current situation is, our forces are routing the enemy. If sure things are. continue as they are, all is well. Oh, yeah. Do you wish to know the status of our Unherjar? No. Lenneth, about your performance, it is magnificent. Damn right it is. These are all the materialized points I can grant you at this time. It's good enough. The Lord Odin is pleased with you. Sure is. He bids me give you these artifacts. Uh, okay, so Aether Scepter, pretty good. Resist damage. Ooh, I think I could transform that into the other one. Oh my god, Coin of Fortune. I, I saw what that was. I looked at a list of, like, the accessories. I think Coin of Fortune, it, I think it doesn't say what it does, but I think it boosts EXP by, like, 60%. Lenneth. I have a request to make of you. We have many powerful warriors, but we need one who can move swiftly. Send us an Einherjar who is both swift and nimble. Send us an Einherjar skilled at swimming. We need someone who can issue battle commands. We need swordsmen. Send us a warrior who knows how to wield a blade. Casual. May fate guide your hand. I expect good news. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Dis. Oh, shit. Okay. Is it loading? Okay, I loaded. Ah, okay. Chapter 5. All right. Here's where the shit gets real good. Okay, so my available my status? Okay. I'm around 41. 
Um, so this is the chapter where I can get, I can get Lucian, which I think if I do, it lowers my rating. Because by the end of this chapter, let me see, what did the, what did the guide say? Um, why do I have two of these? Oh, that's weird. Uh, by chapter five, I got to recruit Lucian and Mystinia, set up a character. I have to keep an eye on my evaluation rating. Uh, I have to remove the, okay, so it says my seal rating should be hovering around 10 to 18 by the end of this chapter. So I'm guessing recruiting, Miss. uh, let me see. I think it actually shows here how much you lose for recruiting Lucinia. So you lose 15 and 20 for Lucian. So 35. So I'm going to have like 6 seal rating after I get them both. So I just got to make sure that I don't I don't go far below that. Okay. Uh, man, I'm, I love... I'm, I'm so glad I scanned that page before I lost my strategy guide of Valkyrie Profile. Because that, that one page shows you everything basically you need to know about this game um okay so now that we have that oh yeah look i think i think this is the chapter where it shows up oh it's not here yet okay that's fine i know okay so one of the things is they need swimmers there's a there's a thing here that you need to get um where is it i think it's this one no that's perception Oh, the Pearl of Karula. Yeah, I said to protect the holder from drowning. Okay, so this, yeah, this one, I believe you need to put on whoever you send up because <laughs> if it protects you from drowning, that means you won't, you know, you're a good swimmer, right? You'll be a, you'll be a fine swimmer. So I'll need, I'll need to get that. So let's, let's start. Actually, you know what? Let's save it first. Let's save it. Oh, you start over. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we saved it. We got that. All right. So let's, let's start. Let's start for getting our characters. Let's see who we get. Oh, we already know who we're going to get. Okay, Flensenberg. <clears throat> That's where we get Mistinia. I think it, although I think in the original Japanese, her name is Meltin, Meltina or something like that. Uh, all right, so. Even the kids are worrying about me now. There's Lucian. with me lately? I don't want to be left alone again. So Flensenberg, uh, I think Garabellum, right? Yeah, Garabellum. And I think we, I think we have the potential to get another character in this chapter. Let's see. Okay, we got the dungeon. So I know in this chapter the Citadel of Flame shows up. I think we can get a good item in there. I'm not 100% on that. That one has a crazy boss mechanic. That gets really annoying. Cave of, oh, 
Really? The Cave of Oblivion showed up first? It's so random, the RNG for that. Alright, is it another dungeon? Nope. Yeah! We got her! Shit, this is bad rack. Who is it? Who's calling me? Wait. Hold up a second. I got it. I got it. Oh shit. Oh my god, bad rack and and Lucian? Oh my god, I can with both of them, I can cheese I can cheese so many gems out of people. Oh my god. That's gonna be so good. All right, um, there, we still gotta get the Citadel Flame, so it's gotta be one more at least. So this might, this is probably it. I think there's also one more dungeon. Um, oh, Arcadian. Oh my God, there's, oh, there's that too. Wow, okay. So there's, there's Wow, another one. Okay, here we go. This has to be the flame one. <gasps> what? I think this is jail. Jale? Jail? I forget. Is it Vilnor also? <gasps> what? Arcadian Ruins? Is that gray? Oh shit, did we get gray? Oh my god, I can't believe how much is in this chapter. We got four characters to recruit, and I still haven't gotten the Citadel Flame! <laughs> this has to be it. Okay, yeah, this has to be. We got Arca Okay, I didn't know that Arcadian Ruins and... And the Citadel Flame appears. I forgot about the Arcadian Ruins. Yeah, there it is. There's a the Citadel Flame. Okay. Oh my god, dude, there's so much. We got four characters to get? We're at 14 already. We're at 14 periods gone. Okay, so let's let me save it to here. Okay. All right. So, uh, well, Mystinia, I I don't think I don't think that leads into a dungeon. So let's. You know what? Let's. Just, you know what? We're right here. Let's start with. Let's start with Lucian. Let's get Lucian. He's important to the story. Lucian's been through some shit. <laughs> what happened? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just thinking. I, wow, I, 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 in my head, the way I'm Even saying it, it man. sounds like this What's voice. What's wrong with me lately? What's wrong with me lately? <laughs> How much did we take in today? 220, 221, 226, um, looks like 230 bucks. Wow, I'm so Oh, give me a break. Everyone did great today. You can make you can't make this kind of money working by yourself. Y 
You're late, guys. You guys gotta get out of here. Didn't you hear what happened to Baron? Huh? That idiot picked up a nobleman's pocket. They caught him, and then they... They tortured him to death. No way! Sorry, kid, but it's for real. His body's hanging from a post in town. It's horrible. But that ain't the, that ain't all. The worst part is, since he's messed with the nobility, they sent the whole army to wipe out all the thieves in the slums. What? You gotta get out of here. The thief hunt is just a pretense to wipe out the slum dwellers. They're killing people right and left, left and right, whatever. It's complete madness. What are we gonna do? What about Rusty? He just went out there. If he's still alive, you'll find him. Me, I'm getting out of here. I heard they're coming this way. Ah. Let's use the back door. But what about the kids? I'll take care of them. You go on ahead. But... We'll meet up in the woods outside of town. It'll be more dangerous if we go together. Please go. But the kids trust me most. That can't be helped now. So did they save the kids or not? <laughs> Why are you both together? All this for a few measly pickpockets? They've sent half the army? I don't want to die. You can't kill me. Look. Damn it. After I just said you can't kill me and I just got backstabbed. Ah. Oh. I'll kill you. I made it this far. Wasn't that enough? Ugh. Why? Why? I don't want to be left alone again. I I just don't know what I should do. What are you talking about? No way I'm going to run off and leave you here. No. A long time ago, she died first and left me alone. If that happens again. I told you I'm not going to leave you. I'm sorry. All these children. Who are you? I am the one who chooses souls. You're a Valkyrie? But you look just like... Do you not wish to come with me? You have earned the right to join the Einherr, Yar. But what about Claire? I can't just abandon her. If that is how you feel. So did we just leave her, or did she did, did she fling herself off the cliff there? <laughs> All right, let's look at my seal rating. How much did I did I actually go down by twenty? I was at forty one. I sure did. Wait, I, I put the ring back on, right? 
Oh god, why does it take so long to get to the menu? Oh, I didn't put it back on! No, put it back on. Uh, okay. So. Let's see. Okay, so we got. Okay, so now let's get Mystinia. So, wait, Vilnor and then our. Okay, yeah, Vilnor and then Arcadian Ruins. Alright. Mystinia is probably like the mage we're taking to the end, I believe. Because she's. She's pretty good. She's also important to the story. Oh, uh, Miss Mystinia. I love how this is the look of the guy that was the same character from the last the last scene we just saw, but like, actually, this his like the model when he was with Lucian actually looked like that. But this guy, they didn't have an art for him, so they're just like, just reuse that. <laughs> Where are you doing wandering around at this hour? Oh, this and that. Basically, I'm consumed with melancholy after a particularly debauched midnight trip. What? I'm joking. Anyway, what do you want? Uh. <clears throat> Lady Lorenta, she she passed away. Oh, I see. That little freak Lazar did it? I mean, I can't say I necessarily blame him. Gods, what a relief. That old bag is dead. Damn, Mistinia. Really? Just... <laughs> just spitting on the grave of your teacher, huh? Oh, Lazard. I could just eat you up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Was she really that bad, though? Goodness, it certainly is chilly today. Into my hyperbolic time chamber. <laughs> It's weird, so she goes into that little chamber and she somehow is able to like I guess astral this project herself. Power is emitting magical energy. Hmm. There are some sort of glyphs engraved on the walls. But these are runes? It can't be. The fourth and fourteenth runes, and even the twenty-second. These were thought lost forever. What can this mean? How do you know if the, what they are if they're uh, lost? They've already been dispelled. If he has the ability to shift such a huge tower into another dimension, just how powerful is he? I like how we're with Mistinia, we're also getting the lore of Lazard. God, what kind of scary stuff does he get up to in these gloomy chambers anyway? Still cut time, don't I? This is Lazard's. Hmm. This penmanship hasn't gotten any better, that's for sure. I can't tell if he's writing in code or just write, can't write at all. That's, that's kind of funny. He's like chicken. He's like he's the most intelligent person in the world, and yet he, he can't write worth the damn. A man-made life form. It's a good thing she left out. Look it! There's something in the foreground to the left, and there's some kind of creature in it. But no, we don't. We're not paying attention to that. It it's a homunculus. Oh yeah, and the eyeballs in the background too. Huh? I didn't know he was into little girls. Why else would he make this? It's accurate right down to the naughty bits. 
Oh, that perv. How could he leave this sick thing lying around for decent girls like me to find? I didn't come all the way here to sp in spirit form for this. This is way more information than I needed. But, oh, I know. Well, this might be useful for a practice autopsy at least. I like how it's just like, damn, Miss Dania, where's the art of you in this attire, girl? Zard, since when did you become a dirty little peeping Tom? I want art of Miss Dania in this. She's wearing, like, what looked like puppy, like, slippers. And she's wearing, like, what could be, like, a silk, like, a gown, nightgown. Excuse. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm doing, this, uh, <clears throat> doing the Liam voice. Excuse me, I am not definitely not. I am most definitely not a peeping tom. I'm doing the good Lazard voice. I mean, the guy, the guy who did this, you know, back on the PS One, he did okay job. But you know what? You can't beat Liam. Sorry. <laughs> Long time you see. Want a drink? I am looking hot in my purple nighty. So how'd you get so powerful anyway? A magic question right off. You haven't changed it a bit. Lazard, you did you hurt did her in, didn't you? I'm sorry. Alright, alright, I'll tell you. You're the one who hasn't changed. Whatever, get to the point. The Philosopher's Stone. I found it. What? Well, figurative, figuratively speaking, I did. A more apt description of the stone would be the 10 billion page codex. It's not as if the world's knowledge is suddenly yours after obtaining it. It must be read. That would suck. <laughs> right? Like, if, if all the knowledge of the world... If they told you, like, oh, the stone gives you all the knowledge of the world, and you're like, okay, so I grab it, and I just, I know everything? No, you have to read everything first. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, it's like, so I can't, I can't, even, like, I'm, I'm not a person who, like, reads books for long periods of time. So, like, getting through, like, a 300-page book, I'd be like, I'd be like, oh, this will take me a day or so. To think like a billion pages? No, that would take my lifetime. It's not as if the... Oh, yeah, I already said that. By the way, I have a favor I'd like to ask. A favor? Misty, you took my homunculus, didn't you? I'd like it back if you don't mind terribly. Oh. And I don't want to seem as if I'm demanding it back. I might be willing to compensate you with something. I didn't know you had such scandalous fetishes, Lazard. Please, ask me whatever you like. It's a very important thing to me. Oh? All right. No, I want to see Mr. I want to see Mr. Nia in that her No, go back. I want to see you stand up and see what it looks like. Well then, I'll go first. What I want is information about Bifrost. Bifrost, the Rainbow Bridge. Right. The single connection between Asgard and Midgard. I'd like to stand atop the summit of Yggdrasil, where it is said that Odin hung as he received his wisdom. The only thing that I can be satisfy your wants and desires is knowledge. Hmm. Somehow I'm not surprised, Misty. What are you saying? You're not any different. At least I don't have a, a Lolita complex. Reality is so boring. I'd choose to sleep forever if it didn't mean I'd never stop dreaming. Don't 
Don't worry. She's just sleeping. I like how she just has the, the, the naked child in a tube in her room. Like, no one... I guess nobody would ever go into a room, but the off chance that someone did, that would be quite... Quite the thing to see. I wonder what she's dreaming about. She certainly is cute. If she were to grow up, she'd be quite the beauty. Hmm. It is said that the Rainbow Bridge is in the forest of the World Tree. Where the elves live? That's right. I mean, that feels like that'd be the most obvious answer. <laughs> what? Well, that can't be. Oh, really? Oh, those elves piss me off. Who do you think they are anyway? They never leave that damn forest and keep totally to themselves. I wish I, they'd all just crawl into a hole and die somewhere. Oh my, that would be very bad indeed. Oh yeah? Why? You know what the elves are responsible for, don't you? Yeah, yeah, they protect Idrisil. I know, if the world tree were to wither and die, so would the world. This is interesting coming off of, like, Vol uh, Valkyrie uh, Elysium. Indeed. Most people do not know that. Hmm. I don't know about you, but I paid attention in theology class. Just listen to me, please. During the process of development on my homunculi, I learned something very interesting. Something interesting? That gods require elves to walk upon Midgard. In so many words, they are the vessels of the gods. Yeah, and? I like, also like the design of those El warrior elves, ladies. To get further to the point, elves themselves can be considered gods. Also, I have demonstrated that children can be born between humans and elves. No way! No, it's true. In fact, Odin himself is a half-elf. And what proof do you have? You know the tale of the time Odin gained the throne of the gods, yes? You mean the creation myth? Yes, I suppose. After the great war, Odin ascended to the throne of the gods. But the world was left a blackened husk, and no life remained on it. So Odin created the second race of man. That is why he is called the Allfather. You're boring me to death, Lazard. Plus the music just stopped. <laughs> Odin used to be a rather weak god indeed. So then, how did he manage to become Lord of the Gods? Did you never wonder that, Misty? Um, well, now that you mention it... Humans cool picture. are incomplete beings. Gods, then, can be considered the final evolution of man. In other words, gods do not grow, but are static. However...
Odin was different because he's a half-elf. That's right. Because Odin's divine blood was mixed with mortal, he has the ability to grow, just as we humans do. Combining the finest traits of all beings, Odin was finally able to secure the throne. Now this is where it gets interesting. I don't know, that was kind of interesting. <laughs> Just that Gods part. use the vessels we call elves to travel through Midgard to protect the world tree. You're repeating yourself, Lazard. <clears throat> Listen well, Misty. It's possible to transfer human souls into elves. There it is, conclusive proof that gods and human souls are roughly equivalent beings. So you're talking about moving souls from one body to another? Do you know what my homunculi are crafted from? They're half-elf, half-human. Correct. My homunculi are essentially half-elves. If I were to shift my soul into the body of a homunculus, might I not become a god? Well, that's about it. At any rate, it would be pointless to move the homunculus now. You know what's really, like, what's really interesting about is this is, like, they, yeah, they take from Norse mythology for this game, but, like, Odin being a half-elf, I don't know if that's actually the true lore or just, the like video game lore, but it it makes it interesting that, like, oh, yeah, he he ascended to being the way he is because he's half-human, and if gods can't grow because they're not capable of it and humans are able to, you know, always reach better potential, that a half-god would be able to grow rather than a, like a full god like that's that part of it is is interesting and this is what i mean with like valkyrie elysium like you you played valkyrie elysium and you get a little bit of lore you get like oh you get valkyrie's birth and then you you get a little bit of odin and then all you do is you go and get a couple in harriar and then a little bit of story in between whereas you like like look at this like this is this is what this has been like half an hour of of like just like the two characters we gotten so far and it's so much more interesting than much of anything that we saw in elysium and it's just these two characters and it's just in this one chapter it's like holy shit dude once you once you get to chapter five and you're working your way towards the ending in this game it's it's so freaking good the writing is so so good i no longer have anywhere to store it yeah, you do, in your tower. I shall come again another day. I like how these two, like, are almost essentially the same, which kind of makes it, like, makes them, like, perfect. Although, look, Vizar just loves, like, you know, Valkyrie, so he can't let it go. If I can't go somewhere as flesh and blood, it certainly is freeing to just break away and travel in spirit form. The ability to completely transcend space is definitely the, the plus of this condition. Misty, can you hear me? I have, an, I have ambitions beyond becoming a god, you know? If I am able to refine magics that will allow me to seal a divine... Oh my god, you're, why are you reading so slow, Lazard? That will allow me to seal a divine being within a homunculus. I will be able to challenge even the gods themselves. And at the same time, 
I will make the goddess I love my own. Is it not almost too good to be true? Lazard? Misty, you shall have the sleep you so desire. Dream your dreams somewhere other than this place. That is all I care about. Does this not satisfy you? Your existence was a bit of a threat to me, I must admit. That kind of sucks, because it's like, he, like, she was so much like him, like, you know, uh, ambitions aside or whatever, that, like, he, you basically, like, his only friend, you could say, but he's like, no, I don't want you to one day maybe be a threat to me, now I'll just walk this world alone, like, that sucks. All she did was like be friend with be friends with him, or whatever. And and she, it, nope, she dead. She just dead now. I at least I think that's what like I think he froze her in her machine or whatever. <laughs> but you know she dead because she joins Valkyrie. Yeah, yeah, I read that part. <laughs> You're fucking dead, Misty. Ha <laughs> Would you care to journey with us? <laughs> Me? With you? Yes. Also, if you should join us, it may be possible for you to research Bifrost and Yggdrasil. Bifrost. Hmm. Fine. I'll come with you. I mean, it's not as if I really have any other choice, do I? Indeed. And you don't have to tempt me with stupid promises, either. Besides, it might be fun to haunt that little freak. That's so weird. Like, <laughs> I have no problem being dead. Well, I mean, if your soul persists and you're and you and you retain your form and all that, I guess. All right. So we got the two. So now my my rating should be at what, like six? Yep. Oh shit. Make sure I gotta make sure that doesn't drop below. Okay, okay. So the thing says I think I have to send somebody up now. Okay, so recruit me and also send one character up during this time. Be sure to keep an eye on. The okay, okay, okay. So let's send somebody up. Let's send Casual. Uh, remove everything. You get nothing. Uh, oh. We we gotta make them the we gotta make them the thing. I gotta make the thing. Uh, where are you? The Pearl of Carola. I need to make two of them. Right? That's that one. Drowning. Yep, drowning. Okay. Uh, let's see. So let's see skills. So March. Okay. So they needed uh, swimmer. So that's the gem. March nimble. Attack power resists damage. I already have that. And defend. Okay, so I have everything. He doesn't have nimble though. That's whatever. That's okay. Eh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so let's give him the thing. Okay, so yeah, it says it says grants good luck to the holder, but that really but apparently it actually means you they get 60% more EXP, which is pretty cool. 
So let's transfer. All right, let's give him one weapon at least. Let's not, let's not send him to you know his grave. Uh, here, take a broadsword with you. <laughs> transfer. Castle. Goodbye, buddy. Oh, you know what we have to do? I, you know, Alia. Alia's had a good run. We'll probably send her also. Um, so let's edit party. Change. So, Justinia, Lucian. Okay, but we're not done. No, 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 no. We still, no, we still have, yeah, we have two other characters we have to get right now. Let's go get, let's go get Badrack, because Badrack, his, his story is interesting. He's the guy, he's like one of the first characters we see in this game. Uh, Vilnor is right here. There we go. I also have to go back to Flintenburg to get Miss, um, Misty's wand from a room. But let's get the characters first. All this, it's happened because of what I did. <laughs> what? Who the hell are you? You seem confused, Badrock. What? What? Where are you? There you are. What? <laughs> ah! Ah! You went too far. That is not the, that is not the same. Okay, the sprite from Arngrim story the, of the rogue figure, that was that. That person right there, that is not, that is not that character art. Man, I wish they would have done like, like all the unique art, but eh, whatever. Ugh, damn. Blah. Hey, what about your job? Job? You think I don't know what I'm doing? Then I wake me up at this godforsaken hour again. What are you doing? Go on out and get some sunshine or you'll turn to a mushroom. Besides, you lazy bum, I've got a cleaning to do. Bah! Okay, okay. You old stick in the mud. Times like this, I don't feel like there's a war going on at all. See, look, even his art right there was different than his regular art. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, you, have you seen the flower that's growing in front of the house? Flower? You mean this old ugly green thing? Oh, yeah. I was trying to ask you. When the heck is this thing ever gonna bloom? I don't think it ever happened. This is a variety of cactus. Huh? Cactus? It'll bloom only one night a month and only for a few hours. Bah. You won't see it if you're sleeping, but... On the other hand, if you make a wish when the flower blooms, it'll come true. Oh, I get it. That's why you take care of this piece of junk, eh? Piece of junk? Piece of junk? You want money that bad? You fool! I'm praying that this horrible war will be over soon! Oh, what a bunch of fools. Well, I'm bushed. I'm going to sleep. Why you? I need me a job that'll pay up quick. You know where this is, don't you? Yeah, I know. You want to find it to you, right? Actually, no, that is his art. That is, that's actually his art from his character. I thought it was different. This is the territory of the world-famous Vilnor's Thieves Guild. None dare defy us. Come back again tomorrow. We'll talk again. Yeah, sure. See you tomorrow.
Damn them. Useless Thieves Guild and their commissions. I work on my own. Screw them. Man, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> Damn. This is a PS1. This blows. I can't die yet. Uh, is this what's gonna happen? It's a good thing. I'm getting out of here. He walked all the way back to his house. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. It hurts. Somebody help me. It's getting dark. Damn. In my whole life, ain't nothing good ever happened to me. Call it one of them warriors of Valhalla, right? Yeah! <laughs> Woo hoo! You are mistaken. Huh? You, but aren't you a Valkyrie? Ain't it your job to take the dead to the afterlife? Yes, that is true. However, Did not, do not misunderstand. Try to remember the things you've done in your life. I am, judge of, I am a judge of men's souls, and you will find me a harsh judge. So, so then what? What's, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What are you gonna do about me? Hey! It is not the old father Odin who has petitioned for your soul, but Hel, goddess of Niflheim. She wishes to you to writhe in torment for all eternity. Wait, hold up a second. I should I should at least have a chance, shouldn't I? I don't want to die. Am I? Oh, I am dead. I mean, I don't want to go to Niflheim. Anyway, let me think. Uh, it's not like everything I did in my life was bad. I think. Uh, speak then. I am not a death goddess. Did you do a single thing in your life to make you worthy of redemption? Um, yeah, let me let me think. Oh yeah, I got it. There was this old geezer. I mean, this old man. And what did you do to him? Uh, I robbed and murdered him. Surely that is reason enough for you to go to Niflheim. No, 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 that wasn't it. Uh, uh, just let me think. I, uh, um, I assisted a kidnapping. How about that? I spied on my country? I fenced stolen goods? I sold women into slavery? Uh, you are truly pathetic. No! Wait a minute. Human, it is time for us to part. Wait, hold on a second. This is a waste of time. Hmm. 
This is a variety of cactus. It blooms only one night a month, and only for a few hours. If you make a wish when the flowers bloom, it will come true. This one really stuck out to me because it shows this this flower, the actual animation of the flower that blooms like one time a night for like an hour or so. And this one always stuck out to me. Like Bodrak, yeah, he's kind of a he's kind of a person, but he meet like it's just he didn't want to be bad. This is kind of what he was forced to be. Ah, I got it, I got it! Had to have been, let's see, three, four years ago. I don't remember too well, but I think so. I was working in Vilnor. Uh, <laughs> hold on, don't rush me here. What was I doing? Uh, it wasn't nothing that bad. I was working. Uh, security. Like an escort, you know? For who, you say? They were, um, slave traders. Oh, come on. Don't give me that look. It gets better, okay? Hear me out. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. Kind of an embarrassing story, really. It was a crappy old town. No shortage of those up north. Well, up in places like that, especially in Vilnor, sometimes the townsfolk gotta sell their daughters just to eat. Anyway. I got hired to escort a bunch of slavers, and there was this little seven-year-old girl there. A typical village rat, like you see everywhere. I forget her name. Anyway, for some reason, she took a shine to me. It's a sad story. You know where it's going, don't you? No? I gotta tell you? Well, these slavers are total thieves, and they only paid me half of what they promised. And on top of that, they didn't tell me how dangerous their route was. So I said to hell with the job. Of course, I didn't get paid, neither. Anyway, before I left, I took that little girl away with me. She had no idea what was going on. Kept asking me about her brother and all. I only saved her to piss off the slavers. But what a pain in the butt she was. I told her it was my house, and she believed me. Even though it had a big old cross and everything. Ha! <laughs> Maybe I should have told you I saved her and took her all the way to the orphanage because I felt sorry for her. Am I a fool? Not good enough? So, even a man who lives in darkness can bloom for one fleeting moment. A man your age should not be crying. <laughs> Well, are you coming or not? Huh? I, I'm coming? I'm definitely coming. 
Oh, that is not aged well. That sucks, though. Like, he, I guess he came home and the mom just found him dead outside of their house. That's, that, that really sucks. All right. All right. We, you know what's interesting is that this next character is in a dungeon. So it counts as two. That sucks, dude. I'm already at freaking period 17. I'm gonna have like no time to do like all like grinding of like after I'm done, you know, doing the dungeons and whatnot. All right, so let's get this last one. I know this episode's gonna go a little bit longer than an hour, but these characters are good. And this character specifically, like this one, this one, man, like there's a, there's like this character has been in a lot of the other characters. Man, they really, like, she's been through some shit, bro. Alright, Arcadian Ruins. Gigantic magic, gigantic magic crystals are said to be sealed in these ruins, yet while many have sought the power contained in these magic crystals, none have returned with it. Could it be that these stories are a myth? This character. Are you just a blade of grass carried on the wind? That sounds like Armbrim. Celia has been through so much, man, in this I game. Think I'm more like a willow tree. Ha! As if. Will I be able to defeat Grey alone? What What really sucks is that she doesn't... She looks like she'd become a Nine Harry Art, but she doesn't. Like, I'm pretty sure she's, like, the only one in, the, in like, the whole group of characters. Because I think she's she's with... She's with Grey, Alia, Cashel, uh, Levelin. Like, all of them were, like, part of a group, I think. Uh, and she's... She's the only one that doesn't die. And like, but like, it sucked because then, like, it almost would have been better if she did, so that she joins her friends, like, to fight for the world. So it's like, it's real. She's like the, she's one of the most tragic characters in this whole game. There's no going back now, is there? You've come this far, and now you want to go home? That's not it. I know we can't. Yeah, well, I gave up all hope of that a long time ago. Cashel, Bartos, Rolf, Alia. Oh yeah, Arngrim too. Well, he was part of the group. She looks cool. She looks like she'd be a real cool sword fighter too. She, she looks like she has a rapier. How? How did it come to this? What did she do? I thought we were all friends. I thought the journey would end. That we'd all be happy. Gray. God, Gray is so freaking cool. I finally found you. Celia. I cannot forgive you. You're the only, you're the one responsible for everything. Cashel, Alia, everyone dead. Everything went mad on that day. The day, the day Lemia died.
Are you going to say something? Please say something. Tell me you didn't kill Lemia. I can't kill you. Because then I really would be all alone. Forgive me. Gray? No. This this isn't happening. No. Man, this game really shits on Sally. That sucks. I wanted her to be a nine Harry R, man. You have lost your body and exist only through the ritual of soul transfer. He's basically Al from Fumero Alchemist. I am not worthy to be chosen by you. That's why Gray is so freaking cool. Human. You have indeed defiled souls, blasphemed against the gods. One who has acted as a sacrifice for the soul transfer cannot be saved through the same means. So there was nothing I could do after all. I am worthless. I must be judged. I must atone. Become then as a blade for the gods to wield. Therein lies your path to salvation. Yeah, Gray is so freaking cool. Man, but I got like, I got so, I got one mage and three healers, or three attackers. Okay, damn, that did take two. Oh, man. Okay, so we got to go to Flensenburg. I have to go get Misty's Infinity Rod, which I really probably don't need since I have the Unicorn Horn now. But I just want to get it. Because it's it's just a it's just a thing to get, and if anyone's watching this and for some reason they don't follow my what I did and uh, you know get save the certain items and and create the gems or whatever. Plus this map is really cool. It's, it goes upwards, but you have to follow the stairs in order to get up. Um, you'll know how to get Misty's item. Plus, uh, now that this is on the PS5, PS4. Uh, there's a trophy for getting the, the items to each unique character or to the characters uh, So if you come here Mistinia will grab her infinity rod There's nothing we could do it really makes me mad Here it is I gotta have this Got the infinity stone <laughs> And then there's really nothing else here. You just gotta. I wish I could just jump, jump down, but you can't. You have to like actually just kind of fall all the way down. There we go. All right, so we got Misty's, but I was also saving Badrax for last because you have to go to Camille Village, and you see the. You basically find out what happens to the little girl he saved. Um, oh my God, dude. So, so I have to go to the Citadel of Flame, which takes two, and then Arcadian Ruins, which takes two, so that's four. So I'm gonna get to 25, and then I'm gonna have like, like one chance to grind, basically. Oh, this sucks, dude. Ugh. Okay, so Camille Village. So basically, what I'm gonna have to do to level up characters. Is, is why I saved uh, Camille's village for last before we end this episode is to see Bodrak scene but also there's a dungeon here which is a pretty good way to get um, like these characters that we just got a lot of them up at least to like 10 levels because the dungeon here is uh, it's actually has, has dragons so 
um, they're pretty beefy with the EXP. What are you bringing me to a place like this for anyway? Someone's here. Hey, what are you gonna do with me? Ah. Are you the, are you the chaplain? Well, um, you see. Well, anyway. Please wait. Um, I, uh, can I give you this? Can I give this to you? You, you remembered me. I see. You're not a person either, but people are bad. But people are bad, ain't they? Ah. All right. So now I just gotta get a little bit of levels, a little levels before we tackle the Citadel Flame. Hey, dudes. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay notified of future episodes and content. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy today's video. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch at L083. And if you feel like supporting the channel further, become a patron by visiting my Patreon, which helps me to pump out more content. Link is in the video description. Thank you all again, and I'll see you in the next video.